What's going on guys? Saga Plazer coming at you with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Today we're going to be continuing solo chapter. Um, I know like I said before that uh, the Synchro, f yeah, Synchro Fest is going on. I'll be doing that after I complete a lot of the room. Uh, pretty much uh, what, what, so we're doing it just the remainder of these. But t today... So last video I checked like we checked the legend of star of the star heroes heroes and it's pretty much like a twofer so it's like a solo mode with two chapters you could say that kind of thing so we'll get into it first part is chosen by the world legacy which we have to complete in order to continue on but today we'll just be focusing on both will be doing both parts, and depending on how long that takes, who knows if we'll continue on or, yeah. But let us get into it. So, chosen by the world legacy is uh, details are channel the world chalice with link summons that utilize normal monsters to summon more powerful monsters. The face off against the crawlers using the world armor, which has a powerful effect when flipped. The Battle of the World Legacy begins, alright? And again, I'll always apologize for this, but sorry for the lag. Holy cow, this is very... Okay. Okay. By using an item. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I have to... So that, I can clear open this. Even I can do that. Okay, wow. This is new. Usually, like... There's the, so this is like a full-blown story. Wow. Okay, because usually it's like scenario, practice, duel, goal. And like after duel, there's the upper level here. But two scenario. Okay, I'll quit talking and let's get into this. Wow. Wow. I, this is totally, they went on all out on this. All right. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Chosen by the world legacy. The rulers of this star were not human. That world was ruled by several mechanical life forms known as the Mech Knights. I've heard, I remember that archetype, archetype Mech Knights. And across the land spread their, spread their vanguard, the crawlers. These crawlers tend to swarm and destroy all human-made structures in their path. They most likely lack any emotions helpless before those ruthless machines mankind had no choice but to live in hiding dense with the with thick trees gloomy even in the daytime a hinterland known as forest of the stars therein lays a hidden village where humans lived inconspicuously the village was protected by a barrier that would prevent intruders from invading or even discovering it. The ritual wand passed down through many generations made the barrier extremely resistant and it had never broken and it had never broken not once. But even so, the villagers were suffocated by their anxieties day after day, not knowing when the great threat would would come knocking at their doorstep <clears throat> from within the su suffocating unease of the village there were still those determined to fend off the crawlers Aram and Ningirsu 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 there are there was a reason they fought so desperately it was the village priestess the younger sister of Ningir Ningirsu Ib. From birth, the priestess possesses a divine power that synergizes with their ritual wand to create barriers. Ib's power was the strongest the village had ever seen in history, in its history, but it was meager compared to the frightening forces that grew stronger by the day. Her companion saw how hard she was trying to put on a brave face for the villagers 
and wished they could lighten her burden even by a little. Arm and Ningirsu, along with the baby dragon Imduk, crossed the barrier in hopes of slaying even just one crawler. One day, Ib heard from inside the forest a faint sound that a faint sound like that of a human voice. Aram and Ningirsu could not hear it. However, Ib proclaimed that she keeps hearing the voice. Afraid Ib would venture into the forest alone, Aram, Ningirsu, and the baby Imduk set foot inside the hinterland. Wow. This is going to be a lot of talking, but let's get into it. And while reading that, I was think I pretty much thought about what to do. But like, are we keeping the locked doors to myself? So I mean, yeah, clear reward. Yeah, you just get like the icons, and you don't even get a deck. But you do get like link monsters and stuff. Nice. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm just going to do the lock portions myself. So, uh, yeah, I'll just be going straight through to the goal. Second scenario. <clears throat> the sun had set already, leaving only starlight to guide them. The scent of trees and soil hung in the cold air. Though her footing was unsure, Ib ventured into the forest as if she was being guided. Careful not to lose sight of her, the three looked out for crawlers as they followed her. Suddenly, with an abrupt shriek, Ib vanished before their eyes. Rushing to the place where they lost sight of her, they saw Ib had fallen off a low cliff. It appeared Ib had been so spellbound in the direction of the voice that she had hadn't noticed there was no ground before her. The three descended the cliff and were relieved to find Ib uninjured. Before her eyes, a mysterious structure appeared. If it had been there before, they would have noticed it, but as if the structure had been there for hundreds of years, it was ensconced ensconced in trees and entwined in ivy. They nervously approached the building. The wand Ib held in her hand glowed and the building started to rumble as if in response. A mighty light radiated from the building, blowing aside the trees and cloaking everything in the blinding light. Even with their eyelids closed, the light pierced mercilessly through. When they finally opened their eyes, a fairy fluttered in the air before them. The fairy spoke to the startled party. I am Lee, the world chalice fairy, a spirit that had been sealed inside the building that released the bright light known as the world legacy, world chalice. In previous times, it was her duty to guide mankind, but was obstructed by the mech knight. For many years, she had been waiting for a world hero capable of activating the world chalice. And that they were those world heroes. Please lend me your strength and gather the scattered light and save the world from the great darkness, she spoke. Though bewildered, bewildered by Lee's story, Orm and the group were moved by her earnestness earnestness and decide to lend a hand. Hearing their resolve, the fairy Lee smiled and bestowed, bestowed upon them the powers of the awakened world chalice. <coughs> Man, that is a lot of dialogue to read. I should have probably refilled my water bottle before starting this. Wow. All right. But let us get into the practice. Let's see what this World Chalice deck can do, really.
What makes a World Chalice deck unique? You can bring out a slew of powerful link monsters by starting with the summoning with summoning normal monsters and leading them to further link summons. When World Chalice link monsters are sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon a World Chalice monster from your, your, the hand. You can allow this can allow you to perform even more link summons and recover quickly from your opponent's attacks. Keep World Chalice monsters ready in your hand or even more effective for an even more effective strategy. Okay. So it's like pretty much you can get a, a lot of monsters down. All right, Orum. Okay. <clears throat> Either way, it forcibly guides me. So, so Link summon this. Okay. Okay, summon by the Crown World Chalice and Link Summon Orum. Okay. <clears throat> Link 2. And then you sent Imduck, the World Chalice Dragon, to the graveyard. You so use its effect to special summon the World Chalice monster in your hand. Yes. Okay. Attack your opponent directly. Attack. And OTK there. Okay. Wait, it's Cy it's a Cyber's monster? What the? I didn't. Did I read that right? Kind of happened a bit fast, but uh, okay. Spellcaster, okay. So let me check out uh, this loner deck. Dragon, Link, Spellcaster. Yeah, Cybers. Whoa. Warrior. Okay, I wasn't not expecting that. Okay, Psychic, Spellcaster, Warrior. Okay. Play. Oof. Who knows how long this will take, but it's going to be fun. A full-blown story instead, which is like, a, just a, instead of like a small snippet story, it's a full-blown one. Huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, if this card is normal, so you can have one child's monster... From your hand, okay. Uh, in your main phase, you can normal summon one shot. Okay. Summon. Link that. Okay, activate that. Helling Insect. Okay. And uh, I'll just add the only warrior in the deck. Okay, special summon. Two monsters with different attributes when this link card this link card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Your opponent cannot target this link card with card effects. If a monster this card points to would be destroyed by card effect, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon world one world chalice monster. Okay. All right. Who knows how long this will take, but, uh, yeah. Keys of that. Special summon defense. Yes. I'll just, like, kind of bulk up defense here. Two. 
two World Chalice monsters gains 300 for each World Legacy monster in your graveyard with a different name. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, for that, I'll just swing in and. Okay. Wow. Second main. Set card. And then there. Okay. Well, honestly, I thought I would be going up against a Mech Knight's deck. So that was, uh... It's kind of how it was supposed to be, I think. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to let that thing get destroyed by battle. Wait, um... Okay, you can add one monster from the deck to the hand. If the card is in the graveyard, you can send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard. Add this card to your hand. Alright. Yes. Okay. And then, uh, for that, is this very uh, similar monster from your hand or field to the graveyard? I also just send that. Nope. Okay. Now set her. Battle. Like 700. Ooh. That hurts. Okay. And the turn there. Pay 2,000, then target one monster in the grave. Special summon that. Excuse me. Okay. When this card for effect is activated, that targets only monster. You can send this card from your hand or grave hand or field to the graveyard. Okay. Battle. I'll just let that get destroyed. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> okay. I mean, he has no extra deck, so the only thing he really can do is special summon stuff, or tribute summon. Draw World Chalice. If a monster is okay, well, special summon. Hmm. I'll just get another one of these guys. Or, no, wait. I should have put her in the middle. Crud. Should have gotten her in the middle. Uh, that's fine though. I'll just set that. Tribute one World Chalice Monster. Then 
Check out one monster in your graveyard to push on this. Okay. <clears throat> Battle. Tap that. And tap that. No, that's his bug. Uh, flip. Okay. Okay. And the turn there. Uh, okay. <clears throat> the monster is special summon from the extra deck, except during the damage step. Battle. Uh, no. Turn that to the hand. So I'm gonna attribute that. Hi. Okay. Draw. Uh, you can tribute this card to some more monster to the graveyard. This face up normal summon slash set summon monster leaves the battlefield. You can special summon two chalice or chalice monsters. Wait, okay. Um, the monster is special summon from the extra deck during, except during the damage step. You can tribute this card. Okay. Okay. Okay, effect to activate. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position. Yeah. Banish that. I will get you. Extra deck. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, all right. That's fine. Yes. Activate World Chalice. Yes. Yes. Okay. Resolve all these effects. Uh, I'll just summon him first. Defense. Leave the world chance. Yes. In yes. You and you. Defense. Attack. Or chalice. Link confirm uh, no wait. Do you and what do you? That way I got two zones open here. Each world like the same monster. Yeah, alright. I mean, have him in the corner there. Okay. Battle. Attack. I'll have him attack you. Attack that, and then uh, direct attack to end it.
man, this World Legacy deck is so not my cup of tea. <sighs> okay, gain XP. Alright, and now my deck. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, we're right practically almost at 30 minutes here. And I only just did the... Got into my dual portion. I mean, this is what it normally takes, but still. Dang. Okay. Draw. Oof. Voice crack. Yeah, I'm gonna just set that and end the turn there. That way I get blue eyes, then alternate. Okay. Now blue eyes. Hmm. Okay, draw. Dang it. Dang. Special summon. Face up. And normal summon one of them. Yeah, alright. I'll just activate this. Battle. And the turn there. Pay 2000. Yeah, this is kind of the downfall bit of the deck. We kept paying 2000 for Burst Rebirth. Just that effect alone kind of drained him up. Made it easier to beat him. Kaiba Man. Summon. Um, okay. This is special and target one monster. Yeah, that's fine. Tuck that. Oof, ouch. Okay. Swing at that. Yes. Salt Wyvern. Um, I'll just get blue eyes down. And, okay, if that first attack went through, I pretty much could have beaten him here. But, nope. Gotta wait a whole turn. That sucks. And is annoying. Okay. What did I just lose? Okay. Chaos form, finally. Ah. Activate. Chaos form. Ah. Uh, you. Chaos max. To the field. Battle. Meh. Why not? Just ping that. And strike there for 72k. 7200. Not 72,000. Whoop. Alright, done with that. That portion is clear. Now on to two more scenarios and a duel. <clears throat> Don't wanna start chugging up on my words. To protect humankind, accepting Lee's earnest wishes, Orem and the group promised to help her. Accompanied by Lee, the group set off to return to the village, but they encountered several crawlers who blocked their way. Orem, Ningirsu, and Imduk stood before the crawlers, with their new strength coursing through their bodies. Excuse me. As they stood between the monsters and what they set out to protect, tension hung heavy in the air. A cold sweet sweat dripped from Orem's chin and dampened the forest soil. As the great tension cres crescendoed, the party suddenly seized up upon their foes, lunging toward the exoskeletons of the crawlers. Orem's sword cleaved the enemies with ease, 
Ingaru's lance pierced nimbly, and Imduk's claws teared ferociously at their metal hides. The battle was almost as was over almost as quickly as it had started. The power of the world chalice that Lee had granted them was much greater than expected. They couldn't conceal their surprise at the world chalice's great power that now dwelled in their bodies. According to Lee, there are six more world legacies in the world with equal power to the world chalice. If they were to be recovered, it would be possible not only to destroy the crawlers, but to destroy the mech knights who ruled the world. This information provided a great ray of hope for the village people who lived so long in the gloomy forest. Following Lee's words and the guidance of the world chalice, the young folk of the Forest of, Star of the Stars set out on a journey to seek the next world legacy. <clears throat> Old Legacy Discovery. Oh, okay. It's the field spell. Alright. Scenario. Guess they head into another battle from that image. Hmm. And so the journey of Orm and the party in search of the world legacy. Although oh, the party was on a mission to save the world, as their first time in the outside world, everything they saw and heard felt fresh and vivid. No matter how many crawlers would appear, Orm and, her fr and his friends would fight them off, and they did so far, did so for several days. How long must they have walked with Lee as their guide and the royal chalice as their beacon? A human. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what, but suddenly cough. Sudden cough. Uh, with Lee as their guide and the royal chalice as their beacon, a human wind caressed their cheeks. Before the party lay a vast swamp. A great artifact was submerged in the muddy expanse. The giant armor laying in the bog was one of the express purposes for this trip, the world legacy known as the world armor. However, they found more than just the world armor there. Not only on the surface of the armor, but also on the inside dark figures squirmed. Like ants on the corpse of a dead insect, Crawlers swarmed the world armor. Their number was countless, from a red mo monocular, from a red monocu monocular, monocular emanated a bizarre light that filled the party's field of vision. The horrific sound of the crawlers' metal hides scraping against each other, united in a thunderous cacophony, as if the earth were shaking. Standing before the three were superior spe specimens possessing power far greater than the crawlers that had crossed their path previously. Witnessing an overwhelming sight, the party decided it was reckless to try and break through them from the front. Break through from the front. On Lee's suggestion, the three friends dared not engage and instead headed to the world armor. <coughs> All right, got a new spell. On the the deck, I somewhat want to assume that. Uh, nope, that yeah, I think maybe it was slightly added adjusted, but can't be too sure. I mean, yeah, I think. I mean, extra deck that has not even been adjusted in the slightest, but I think the main deck was adjusted a bit in terms of spells, but. I don't think so, really. But uh, let's just play. Let's see. Because, I mean, I may, I probably can only do this chapter today for the World Legacy solo mode. Uh, if you control no monsters, push on one level four or lower. Yeah. All right.
Okay, special summon. To the field. There you go. Aurum. Target two World Chalice monsters and add them to the hand. If your Link monster would be destroyed by battle, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Yeah, alright. Refill the hand. You. You. Set and end the turn. I do want to see the other guys. My link three. Uh, two plus link monsters. This card is link summon. Draw cards equal to the number of world chalice monsters this card points to. You can only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn, you can send one card from each player's field to the graveyard. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, special Okay. That's a right Gecky. Uh, set her, and I'll battle the, uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have returned them already, these guys to the hands, but that's fine, yeah, because I mean with these two in the grave, uh, I probably Definitely would have won that one, but that's fine. Summon. Special summon. So get one of these guys. Okay. Wait. Gains 300 attack for each world legacy. Oh. World legacy. For each world legacy monster with in your graveyard with a different name. These are world chalice. Chosen by the world chalice. Yeah, these are world chalice monsters. What? Then world chalice. World chalice, yeah. But, uh, you can tribute one more Chalice Monster this card points to. Ah, screw it, whatever. Battle. That's so weird. This is a World Chalice deck, but it's asking for World Legacy to boost it. Ooh, that one hurt. Uh, target one monster in the field. One monster would be summoned or a monster pay if it. In life points activate it. If you you get the summon or activation if you do. Ah, uh, that's fine. Yes. Trigger you. No. Defense. Yes. To this. Deck to the hand. World Legacy. Yeah. Okay. The World Legacy. So, World Chalice. Literally. Just having that only in the grave. Yeah, okay. Uh, nah, that's fine. But man, that's kind of annoying. World Legacy, World Chalice. This deck literally requires them in order to uh, function X Crawler. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. <coughs> it's summoning. Alright. Drain shield, ooh, hell yeah. Yes, definitely a yes. Summon, yes, I'll tribute you. Um, the monster is special summon from the extra deck, except during the damage step. That's fine. Screw it. And the turn there. <sighs> yeah, I probably sh may should have played. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. 
Straw, Harpy's Feather Duster, uh, Summon you, and let's get you. Okay, now World Chalice gets to go into effect. There's no application. Okay, yes. One and two. Yeah, all right. These two. Defense. Base up. Yes. Nah, that's fine. Uh, get the dragon. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Battle. Oof. Do you just switch places or get shuffled around? Alright, that's fine. Okay. Probably gonna link something again. In the battle. I'm just gonna write Gyaki the his board. I don't know. That's like okay. Some more monster from the decks of the graveyard. World likes he world armor. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Ah, oh, crud. There goes my training shield. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is. I'm definitely just gonna write Geki him. That's the only thing I can do. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. I only survived with one monster. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. I'm just gonna write Geki. Field spell, yeah, it's crawler field spell. Crud. I may, man. World legacy in shadow. Yeah, okay. I may be losing this one, because I mean, yeah. You just swing all out, and I'd probably die. Okay. <sighs> so I can't let him let the board go nuts. That's for sure. And that is... Oh, game. Okay. Yeah. Beat. Dual. Play. Yeah, okay. Because I want to try and beat him with the loner deck. 
first before using my deck. Because, uh... That is definitely annoying. <sighs> okay. My go. Draw. Ooh, finally. Finally. Summon you. Can I not link summon? I can't link summon first turn. What? That, that sucks. End the turn. Uh, once per turn. If I face it, okay. Draw. Yes. <clears throat> uh, I'll just add him. Okay, now I can link something. Oh, right, the dragon requires a normal monster to link summon with. Right, 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 right. Uh, the monster now. Battle. Attack. And the turn there. So, reach world legacy monster. Yeah, okay. That sucks though, because I only have one world legacy monster, and uh, yeah. Draw. Battle. Okay. So I guess they either can't set up a board or uh, they just can't draw any monsters or now they can. Leave. Okay. That's nice. 2100. They switch or flip. Okay. Destroy a monster on the field. That's fine. Yes. Yes. Defense. Uh, in case of the world fairy. Uh, yeah, all right. Get a whole the whole party. Draw. Activate right Geki. And then I'll just summon you. Yeah, all right. I'll get rid of my World Chalice monster in order to help boost up my Aurum. One world chalice monster this card points to. Eh, that's fine. Uh, this one card cannot be short by battle. Your opponent cannot target this. Okay, if a monster this card points to, you can destroy this. Yeah, that's fine. from play one and set monster okay yes <coughs> D 
defense. Yeah, I got the whole party. Or had the whole party. Never mind, here's the whole party. Get the chalice. Oof, that hurt. Ooh, ow, okay. Ah, man. It goes. Second main. Ah, no. No, I won't. Man, this is annoying. Okay. These crawlers are annoying a bit. X crawler, okay. Battle. Draining shield. Okay, uh, send this. You can send this card to the graveyard. You can only use. Okay, if this face up normal leaves your field, you can special summon two chalice. Okay, during your main phase, except to turn this card with sense of the graveyard, finish this, add one world legacy card. Yeah, tribute you. Okay. Special summon you by getting rid of you. Okay. Imduck. Uh, yeah, you. Okay, World Chalice, special summon you, and Q, okay, defense, yes, add to the hands, you, I guess. Finish that to get this World Legacy Field spell, which I graciously to use. Set that. Link summon you. You and you. Okay. Battle. Destroy you. Crud. That of all things, man. Why is it that every time it tr summons that, that crawler is annoying? You may have to do what I did before and just, uh, and just, uh, just beat it with my loner deck and then, uh, yada yada. That's fine. Pay to negate that effect. Uh, why is able to? Effects based on the number of crawlers you control. Okay. Uh. Ow. Man. Okay. 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 Can I draw a right Geki here, please? Like anything to cause a board like this, these things. Okay, what can you do? Target one face down monster on the field, destroy that. If you do, banish it. Then, if it was a flip monster, each player reveals their main deck, then I'll banish. Yeah, that works. Uh, 
Okay. Activate. Okay. Summon you. Okay. I just literally have to deal 400 damage and I win. But, uh. Okay. Battle. I attack you. Screw you. Wow. If it did not use that trap, I would have won. I could have gotten this over with. Wow. One more. And if not, I'm using my loner deck. Or, not the loner deck. My deck. I'm using my deck. If this doesn't work out, because this is really annoying. Crawlers, I now hate World Legacy. Everything related to that. This archetype. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, just summon you, set you, special summon a, this guy, because those things literally have the effect of, uh, kill one of us, I will just blatantly summon more. Yes, to trigger you. I'll add you to the hand, and then, man, this is really, I'm really getting ticked off by this so much. Yeah, activate you, special summon, face there, and the turn. <clears throat> okay. Draw a card, I gain a thousand. Okay. Great, great. Flip monster. Great. Draw. Go with that. Oop. Activate you. Let's get rid of you. Dang. I wish it was a flip. Summon you. Summon you. Yeah. Battle. Attack. And attack. End the turn there. Okay. <clears throat> In phase. Set a monster. I know you'll do it. Set a monster face down. Uh, yep, that's where I thought. Did you? Draw. Good, good, good. Battle. Ping. And this shall be game. Okay, I am now done using this loner deck i really do not like world chalices world legacy monsters really now i don't like anything that has to relate to the archetype okay i get more cards for for it my deck and this has pretty much will be going on for more than an hour because of this wow just this whole uh whole uh what is it called whole story alone is long but yeah. Just summon you. Set a card. End the turn. But yeah. I mean, I do kind of like this. But I mean, I just wish that it's like... I hate how it's somewhat like... It's random, which is nice, but it's like... I lost two times in a row. And the only reason I won the third time is just because... uh Because... uh What is it? I just because like they did not summon any monster okay 
Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, only three linked monsters, but still. And the turn there. Okay. Pay 2,000, then summon that. Turn change. Okay. Show me what you got. Oh. Okay. When a monster is flip summon, you can special summon this from hand. This card is normal or special summon. You can add one world legacy card from your deck to your hand. Okay. Oof. Ouch. I use like on the turn they die. This face up card is destroyed by battle or lose card. Uh, target two cards with different names in your graveyard special summon them. Okay. Set. And activate. Okay. That triggers twice. Once more. And the turn. He pays 2,000 more to get that back. Okay. Special summon. Another one. Okay. I get me a blue eyes, and I also lose at the same time. Yeah, I did not get any cards. I really lost from the moment I got my hand and could not draw anything to help me win. Because, I mean, I rely on special summoning blue eyes like a lot of people do nowadays. Because you will rarely ever see someone tribute two monsters just to summon blue eyes white dragon. I special summon him with card effects. Because two monsters, that's a bit much. Uh, okay, yeah, these two, um, Priestess, um, yeah, summon, end the turn. Not even gonna attack? Okay. Hmm. Draw, Salt Wyvern's kind of useless right now. To like have a blue eyes in hand. Okay, battle. Thank you. Blue eyes to the hand. Ah man. I hope you guys love me screwing up so many times. Raw footage. Best thing. Summon. Battle. Uh attack you yes use assault wyvern make use of you yes now you cannot use that effect move from play one insect monster oh okay uh shovel this to do special one yeah okay but its effect is negated either way, so yeah. Blue eyes to the field. Thank you very much. Oop. Still can attack. End the turn. Paying 2000 again. Wow. Just to bring that back? Man, how many do you go through? You always like, the computer always uses those up, uses like two of those at max. Or all of them really, but yeah. Battle, made him with blue eyes, yes. Yes, from the deck.
Okay. I lose a tuner. You link into that. Okay. Draw. Set. All right, and now. Drag Lubion. I know I could have done the other face up. Okay. But man, I usually never use two blue eyes just to summon Drag Lubion. It's either blue eyes or another one of my level 8 dragons or a different dragon. Oh, I could summon you know, with the eyes of blue. Oh, didn't re realize that. Forgot, I totally had a normal summon. Battle, and strike, 78,000. I am now done with this world legacy portion. A bit-ish, but yeah. I'm done with the main line. Wow, okay. And now, time to read the end, chosen by the world legacy. With the world armor in front of them, Aurum's party became blocked by a swarm of crawlers. No matter how many monsters they defeated, a new swarm appeared, trampling the debris of the fallen. Now divided, the party struggled. The seemingly endless battles that whittled the party's strength down to almost nothing. They were unable to advance, but retreating wasn't an option either. They had no choice but to fight until all strength was gone. Just then, as Orm and the party were about to collapse, Lee called out to them, By defeating the superior X-Crawler, you should be able to halt the movements of other crawlers. In the midst of the battle, Lee has had discovered that the X-Crawler was the commander of the crawlers. Trusting Lee's insight, the party pierced through the siege and closed in on the X-Crawler. The X-Crawler resisted fiercely, but they channeled the last of their strength to defeat it. Just as the commander collapsed, the swarm of crawlers surrounding the party suddenly stopped moving. Greatly wounded, Aurum and the party finally arrived under the world armor, but there were more than just crawlers there. Seven colors of light suddenly shone down from the heavens. They appeared. There appeared the seven knights. The figure before them were metallic and emitted a radiant glow that enveloped their bodies in an in a lustrous light. The mech knights who ruled over mankind and all of the world had now descended to this very place. Orm and his friends found it difficult to describe the figures with mortal words. All they c and they could and could only stand frozen in their otherworldly presence. Then suddenly, the mech knights reached out their hands, silently. A mysterious energy sprung forth from their hands and began to shroud Ib. Ib what, is exhausted, no, completely spent. The magical barrier provided by Ib had no resistance to the force field. The rest of the party desperately struggled to rescue Ib. However, the same light from which they appeared it they appeared, Ib and the Seven Knights vanished without a trace. Lee cautioned of the danger if Ib's wand were stolen and the other world legacies fell into the wrong hands. Orm and his comrades set out to rescue Ib and recover the next world legacy. Okay, huh. So I guess what it's like pretty much this is ending on a cliffhanger, practically. But uh, yeah. Cosmic mechanical entities, no. So I guess with that taking an hour, next video we'll be doing Gift of the Martyr, New Gate, and that'll be coming up tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, can't, don't know what else much to say. My throat is killing me a bit. But uh, this is Saga Plays signing out. Bye.